All right, we've arrived at our first stop. Check it out and I'll tell you guys exactly where that is. And oh, look who is with us today looking so beautiful. All right, let's... Uh, the truth is, guys, I don't know where we are. And that's always a good thing. Carlos Irfete, and welcome to the island of Crete. Guys, we uh, are on a mission today, and that mission is to make it to a beautiful beach called Elephanisi. In fact, it's considered one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. You coming? Tell, tell everybody where we are, baby, because uh, you're the only one here that can read, well, read the signs. Like we are in a small village, but I don't know the name. So, we just uh, we're on our way to this Elephanisi beach. From where we're staying in Kanya, it's uh, close to two hour drive. So we rented that little Nissan, five speed, which is uh, actually pretty cool here. Look at these little steps going on. So this is like a really authentic little, very little Greek village. There is, that, that. Um, there is a small taverna, baby. Yeah? Okay, we'll walk over there, but just wanted to show you, you can see the little mountains there, and that's nothing. Um, they got a little store here, sandwiches, snacks, and uh, looks like beachy type items, which is interesting because uh, I don't know where the closest beach is to this little this little town, but just thought it would be cool to uh, pull over. That's our ride. It'd show you, by the way, 50 bucks for the day for that car, uh, plus 20 euros for gas because of how far we're going. But you can see here how um, authentic this is. Place there. Uh... Hey, there they are. What's going on? Oh, look at this cute little guy. What's the name? What's the name of this town, baby? Talk to them. What's the name of the town? Gabrujana. Oh. It's a beautiful town. Have you ever had any Americans come here to visit? No, but baby, they don't speak English. Oh, what can you tell me about this lovely town? Yes, 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 yes. Ask him in Greek what he can tell me about this lovely town. Tell him I can see that. I can see that. Sexuality address. Sexuality. Uh oh. I heard something about sexuality. That I understood, ladies and gentlemen. I understood that one. There we go. What are we drinking? What are we drinking? What is this, Rocky? TP. Rocky? Or Uzo? Oh, it's good? Oh, it's Rocky. That's the official drink of Greece, huh? Okay, well, it's so nice to meet you, my friend. American. America, baby. Michael Ruzioni. We're through Massachusetts. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Be friends. We love Greece in America. He likes too. All right, my friend, my new friend. Patriote. Okay, take care, guys. Thank you. And you'll find that everywhere you go here, guys. People friendly, an outstretched arm, and uh, just warm and inviting. And the food in these places, guys, um, you can't go wrong. So, anyway, little taverna here. I'll walk inside real quick and show you. It's called the Calypso. Ah. Hello. hello. How are you? Fine. Nice to see you. Say hello to YouTube. <laughs> hello. You're, you're famous now. You're famous. Do you speak English? A little bit. A little bit. What's your um, fa famous dish here? Your famous dish. Ask. Um, Famous okay. dish. Which one? Moussaka. Moussaka. Uh, that's uh, kind of like the Greek lasagna, right? 
no, it's, no, no. Uh, it's better. No, no, it's not no, it's lasagna. Uh, What's not lasagna? It's it has uh, egg band, uh, zucchini, mincemeat. Uh, wow. Uh, it's more vegetables. Oh. Uh, lasagna is uh, no pasticcio. pasticcio. Oh, that pasticcio. pasticcio. That's right. That's mm. right. Okay. I'm learning. I may forget the names, but I never forget how good they taste. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye -bye. All right. So we got tracks to make. Watch out, baby. This traffic comes here. Guys, when you're driving here, when you're walking here, you have to be really careful because uh, you have these streets. Wow, look at this tree, baby. Look at this tree. That tree is incredible. All right, guys. Onward and upward we go to Elephant Easy Beach. Join us for the ride, won't you? Oh, that's the bee place. Crete and Honey Experience. You went there, right? Look at the look at the mountains, guys. I have a much greater appreciation than the average person does when it comes to looking at this type of scenery with all of these lush mountains because we don't have them in Florida. Okay, here's a little ca cav uh, tavern. What else we got here? It's like a little village here, guys. Called Elos. Gift shop. Olive oil, red wine, and honey. Stop, guys. Should have had it in gear. I forgot it's not an automatic. This is Callisto's Canteen. Let me get a beer, guys. Hey, how are you? I have also a small problem. The fridge is off, but I have frozen glasses. Oh, so the beer is warm? No warm, cool, but not so cool as... Okay. What's the coldest thing you got? <laughs> One moment. One moment because someone make a mess here. Uh, Mamos, Mythos or Alpha? I do. I like Alpha. Alpha? You have a, okay. a cool one. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's In fine. A frozen wow, glass, it works pretty good. Yeah. One glass or two? Oh, just one. Good. What's the name of this area, sir? The village is Kalistos. Kalistos? The, the village is Topolia. The neighbor is Kalistos, sorry. Were you born and raised here, sir? I came every summer for holidays and after I decided to come here and make my business. Wow, good for you. How many people live in this in this town, in this village? This village in uh, winter time or summertime. Oh, it's different, huh? Because it's like seasonal. Yeah, at a most, lot, a lot of people come ho for holidays. At most, how many people live in this village? Uh, 30, 40. 30 or 40 people, yeah. totally. So everybody knows everybody. Yeah. <laughs> we are a village. Okay, thank you. 30 or 40 people, man. I know families bigger than that. Thank you very much. Cheers. Yamas. No, sorry. I have rolling tobacco for myself. A little strong, but good. You are from? The United States of America. Uh, I'm from Miami. Ah, United States. Yes, sir. She's yeah. from, she's from Latvia. Been in Latvia. Ah. One time. 
One night. How'd you like it? It was a night. Yeah. I have seen a little bit outside of the bridge. Good. It's good to get out there. Yeah. That's what we're doing. My new this friend. liquor is made handmade by me. It's oh my god, look at that, it's yeah. a purple liquor. What is your name, sir? Yanis. Yanis, I'm Terry. It's so hey. nice to meet you. I'm Barefoot Vlogger on YouTube. So I uh, would love to put this experience on there. So you're gonna have one with me? Yes. What do you call this? What do you call this special drink? I don't have drink? give name uh, yet. No name. Hey, wait, no there's name. a bar like that in like Latvia this. called... What's the name of this place? This place doesn't need a name. Ah, okay. <laughs> This is his invention. It's what gives it that color? Naturally, from the passion fruit they use. Passion fruit, baby, I love it. Yeah. What do we say in Greece when we? Giamas. Giamas. To you, to life. Mmm. Oh my God, that was amazing. Give here to smell it, huh? dude. It's like velvet. Oh, that was so good. Here, smell it, baby. Smell what you missed out on. Yeah, it's sweet. Yeah. That is fantastic. Uh, so kind of you to do that too. I appreciate it. How long does it take you to make that a batch like that? I have made a lot of experiments to, to, to have this. Oh result. yeah. I have drink a lot of it oh. to have this <laughs> final <laughs> resort. He's like the Thomas Edison of <laughs> the drinking here. I love I'm it. I'm working on it. There you go. Well, you're a very passionate uh, person and passionate about what you do and passionate about this village and where you the live. Planks is over there. If you want to see it alive, it's the passion fruit. It's uh, on the construction. Oh, it's growing right there. I can go yeah, see it. I am the productive. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Here is the passion fruits. Where does it come from? It's come from the South South Africa. Wow, man. Johannesburg. Man, a long trip. Look at that. Oh, these are beautiful, guys. Wow. I can smell from here. You want oh, it? that's beautiful. Take I I take one. I take one. Okay. Thank you so much. When it's like this, it's better to, to eat it. Here's my present to you, my friend. Oh, look at that. I got my own vial, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to be. To remember me. I'm going to be. Remember me. I'm going to. It's. I'm going to be drink. Yanni, right? Yanis. Yanis. I'm going to be drinking this on Elephantisi Beach, and thinking of you, my friend. As I always like to say, onward and upward. Thank you, brother. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. To the next adventure. Get a shot of this scenic Hello, overlook. Man. Hello, how are you? My friend, where are you from? United States of America. I am from Miami, Florida, oh, USA. America, America. Yeah, baby. We America. have a huge Greek community there. They're great, oh, yes. awesome people. Wow. This is just breathtaking. All right, guys, there's so much to see. We could stop at every little overlook, but we got tracks to make. I want to get to the beach while it's still uh, early. Early enough. Uh, we're going through this mountain right now. This is, I think this is one car at a time deal. Wow, I hope they're waiting on the other side. What? You're going the wrong way! He says we're going the wrong way. Oh, he's drunk. How would he know where we're going? Fuck, what? Fuck. Why? <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, this is uh, precarious driving here, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, see that? Show them the mirror. You have to look in the mirror to see if there's a car coming on the other side. Okay, they have a stop sign there coming back. See, and here comes the cars. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. I don't think I sang that song in like 40 years. Maybe 50. She's brave. She's brave. Show you guys this view we have here on the other side. We're, we've come down the mountain. Look at that. So you can see why this is Crete's most popular beach. I need five euros, baby. Hi, how are you? Five? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Where do we go? This way down. Left? Okay, thank you. Oh my goodness. Going down. Amen. I can fit in that. Can you do it? Okay. I think. To the beach. Okay, baby, lead the way. So apparently there is no beach parking. You need to pay five euros for the privilege to walk 10 minutes that way. They must have known I was coming. Baby, forget the drive, forget the hazardous hairpin turns on the mountain. This is why we're here. Right there. Now I understand the crowds. It makes perfect sense. Holy crap. Oh my God. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Guys, I, I've been to a lot of places, I've never seen anything like it. Now it's not that treacherous getting down to the beach, but it is a pretty far stretch. You gotta do a lot of walking. We took a little shortcut through some of these rocks um, that there's not that much of a steep incline, so it's doable. Oh, I'm seeing sand, that's a good sign. Wow, that is some tree, it's incredible. This tree must be a thousand years old. Okay. I think we have made it, ladies and gentlemen. We have made it to the promised land. Elephant AC Beach. Dead ahead. I never Oh wow, this is quite lovely.
uh, quite windy here as it typically is. It's like a windward island, but it's actually beautiful. You have this mountainscape here to my left. And just before us, it's like pools from these sandbars that form here naturally. It's like a festive party atmosphere. This is incredible, guys. I have never seen a beach, and I've been on a lot of them. With this color water, and the backdrop that you're looking at here with these views. There's people everywhere here. So if you don't like tourists, I'm not saying they all are tourists. It's probably a mixture of locals and tourists, but mostly tourists. Then uh, you might want to seek out some more secluded beaches. But certainly this is one that I don't think you could come to Crete to and miss. guys we talk about the teal color water in Florida all the time on this channel I'm gonna tell you right now because of how light colored the sand is here and these dead blue skies this water is as teal green blue as it gets I think we have a thumbnail Come here, baby. We're gonna take a thumbnail. Welcome to Elephant Easy. Ah, uh, Svidvlager has ventured into the water, ladies and gentlemen. That's her with the trademark orange hat. So the next adventure is that main sandbar that attracts a lot of people. That's where the party is, ladies and gentlemen, and we will go join it. Stay tuned. Okay guys, we're in waterproof mode, so I'm gonna take you with me for a dip. Let's roll. Nice, huh? Everybody looks so happy. You come to a place like this, it's hard to be miserable. Even some of you miserable people in the comments. Try coming here and being miserable. This is just fantastic, guys. Everywhere I look, it's a better view. I, I'm gonna give it to the mountainous backdrop, though. That's hard to beat. But I'm gonna tell you, you'd be hard pressed to find something as nice as this right here. It's, it's almost like a giant swimming pool, honestly. Not just because of the colors, but because look how far you gotta go to get out to where it's over your kneecaps. We've already walked a little bit. Where's Svetlana? I don't even see her. Somewhere over there. Now, the water in Florida is a good deal warmer than what I'm standing in right now. But that said, this is by no means uh, that difficult to get into. It's, it's a little bit on the brisker side, what it reminds me of. Um, in fact, it's, it's more refreshing than a lot of the uh, South Florida waters that are just, you get it and it's like a bathtub. As much as I like it, this is after, you know, the drive and hiking down these, uh, these hills here. This feels great. It feels very refreshing and wonderful. I would say it's very much like when they, the first day they open the pool after Memorial Day weekend. Before enough people peed at it to warm it up. This is what it feels like. Oh, there goes the Greek Air Force. See a couple of Air Force jets flying overhead. It's beautiful. I, giant swimming pool, guys. This giant swimming pool. Look at this. The views here are nothing short of spectacular. And so as much of a chicken as I am of cold water, um, I'm in. It's, uh, it's, it's doable. It's not bad at all. <sighs> Let's go do some exploring.
You're slippery though, you gotta watch your step. The water's warmer in these little pools here. And you can kind of get out of the sun too by getting the shade of these rocks. Take a walk up this side of the beach and uh, just walk closer to the mountains. So they do have. Uh, Umbrellas and chairs for rent here. And from what I've heard, there's a tough time getting them unless you get here real early and it's understandable. But guys, I want to show you the sand. We always talk about the sand quality on the channel, right? Here, what's most interesting about it is the color. And if this looks pink to you, you're right. Pink sand. Remember Count Chocula and Frankenberry? This is Frankenberry. When you have mountains like this, you get all sorts of sediments and things that run off into the ocean, I'm sure. And uh, probably a lot of volcanic rock, maybe some iron ore. I don't know, whatever it is, it's beautiful. And they got the lifeguards here watching everyone. Let's see what the uh, sign says no sunbeds. You know, I've been to some beaches at some of the state parks in Florida. And um, it kind of has that feel to it, you know, just really natural and um, unspoiled. There's no buildings anywhere around here, so it, it makes it that much more beautiful to look at. This looks like it's their version of seaweed here. Wow. Interesting. It's almost like confetti. A lot nicer than the stuff we have back at home. We can walk out here along this natural rock jetty and get a better view. And being here in Europe, it, it, you know, it's just such an international location. I hear all sorts of languages, uh, Italian, French, just the full gamut. It's a selfie lover's dream, ladies and gentlemen. I still got to give it to those mountains behind me. Somebody pulled their boat up over here. It's like a little private beach right there. 
well, it's not so private. And it's a little beach. You guys have seen video shots of me like this in the Keys where the water just looks incredible. And uh, I don't know if it looked this incredible. I don't know. It's close. I'll let you be the judge. Take your choice. As I always like to say, you're a winner either way. All right, we'll exit here off this little beach and then uh, we'll walk back towards the sandbar over there that uh, everyone's hanging out on. It is windy. To the sandbar. Can you get a drink on that sandbar? It's the only thing worth missing on this mission. Look how pink this sand is here. What do you think, baby? Okay guys, the wind has certainly picked up here even more, and I'm loving it. I hope you can hear me okay, and my apologies for the noises at home. I do have a shield on this microphone, so hopefully it's cutting down on some of it. But, what I want to do before we leave is I want to show you and take a walk along this incredible natural sandbar. First though, let's go this way. This side is beautiful too. Some people might actually prefer this side. I'll tell you what, if you like the wind, it's coming right directly off of this water here. Does the word paradise mean anything to you? Guys, I'm just awestruck by the diversity of this island and the various rock formations and colors of the water, colors of the sand, different textures. Uh, it's incredible. Okay, we're gonna walk back now and make it to that last sandbar. They have our turtle nest signs, they have their sand and seashell signs. Yeah, this is such a cool spot, guys. I never get tired of that color of the water. The only thing we're missing is a drink. Too bad. Wait, I just remembered. Calling the Greek reinforcements. Here's my present to you, my friend. Oh, look at that. To, be, to remember me. I'm going to, to be. Remember me. I'm going to. Yanis, I'm going to be drinking this on Elephantisi Beach and thinking of you, my friend. Compliments of our good friend, Yanis. Takes in purple drink. Yamas. Onward and upward. Ah, Giannis. I don't know what you're doing over there. But keep squeezing those purple fruits. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Here is the passion fruits. Mmm.
anything on the agenda. Let's just see what's on the other side of these rocks. Instead of walking around, it's probably easier to just come out here and venture across the other side. Why, it's another beach. Surprise, surprise. Well guys, that'll about do it from here at Elephant EC Beach. I hope you guys enjoyed the journey to get here and the tour of this incredible, spectacular, world's best beach. Every bit as much as we did. Till next time, from the crystal clear waters of Elephant EC Beach, with the beautiful mountains behind us, this is the Barefoot Vlogger saying stay well, stay tuned, and life is all about the experiences. I think this proves that. Go out and get your one. Nice water, huh? A little chilly, a little chilly. They must be from Florida.